Hello, this is Pierre Miller from the Desiderata Pen Company doing a video from the outside of his house. Uh, I'm just putting up on the website a number of my Coca Bolo Subriquet pens, and I thought I'd do a quick video showing you what they were about. Uh, the short of why this is worth doing is these pens are a limited edition perhaps the first numbered limited edition I've ever done uh, because I am uh, killing the production of this exact configuration of this pen model. Future pens will look exactly like this from the outside, uh, but they won't have the visible ink window band. So uh, let me uh, show you a few pens. These are not all of the pens that I have available, but I wanted to show you <coughs> Uh, the color variation here, uh, because the raw material comes in uh, little short blanks that are about this long, it's not possible to make an entire pen from a single piece. And as such, parts have to be matched, cap from one stick, barrel from another stick. And I did the best that I could to match things up. For example, this one looks like a decent pairing. Uh, some of them, like this, very close, not always perfect, uh, but I just wanted to show you how some of these look. Uh, the configuration of this pen that's uh, noteworthy is the way it goes together. Okay, so this is our filling mechanism. Uh, the nib collar... This is a nib collar, nib, black part is the feed. The nib collar from your uh, pen's nib is the hard stop for the piston head. You unscrew and the piston head hits the back of the nib collar. If you unscrew all the way with no nib collar installed, which is what you might need to remove if you're interested in switching out nib types, uh, you can unscrew the piston screw, and as I said on the website, it is holy hell trying to get that piston back in there if you've unscrewed it. So, don't unscrew the piston. That's one thing to remember. Uh, let's see. So the threads that hold this in the back of the pen are all the way back here, so that if anything should happen to the front of the barrel lip, it will still be able to be installed, so your pen will still work, it just might have a split one day. I've carried one of these for over a year. I've never split the barrel, but it's something to keep in mind. When you screw this on, you gently snug this to the filling to the filling unit, and then when you put the cap on, the cap lip bumps into the end of the barrel. And you don't need a lot of force to hold it closed. You just want to make sure that this is in tightly enough so that when you put the cap on, you don't accidentally unscrew it with the barrel. That can happen and it's terribly silly. Uh, besides that, uh, and you know, the usual Desiderata ball clip, stiff, made out of stainless steel, both parts. Uh, nothing special about this. Uh, besides, you know, it's made out of perhaps the most gorgeous and crazy wood I've ever seen. Uh, working with this is kind of interesting because this wood is a famous sensitizer where people work with it for years and then suddenly one day they develop an allergic reaction to it. Uh, besides that, uh, just a gorgeous pen. Oh, and these are numbered limited editions. So this one I think, let's see if we can see it. Okay, so we got this one is number six. Uh, Please don't ask to get the particular number. I am assigning nibs to these randomly, and I have no idea what number you will get based on the nib that you ask for, uh, because that's that's just craziness, and you know we just don't have time for that. Um, besides that, nothing else. Oh, this is kind of an interesting one. This one has uh, this is Coca Bolo. This is black, purple with white flex. This is also Coca-Bolo. 
orange. Huge black streak. Clearly orange here. Uh, it is all over the place. This one is kind of a cream in between the the black the black rivulets. Don't know what to say about it, but Goga Bowl is impressive. If you have any questions, uh, please email me at desiderata.pens at gmail.com. Well, I hope this was useful, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.